So if you're the parent of a student enrolled in Albertville City Schools, you may be getting a knock at your door. News 19's Lauren Layton explains why. Albertville City Schools is in the process of verifying student home addresses, meaning this semester parents will get a visit from one of three enrollment specialists. If the people are not at home, then there will be a message left in an envelope with a business card of who to contact uh, to update or verify that the residents. If they are home, guardians just need a piece of official mail on hand to show the visitor their home matches with the address listed on school records. School leaders say for the past five years, this has been procedure, but now it's more important than ever. In the past few years, we've gone from 2,000 students up to over 5,000. Uh, we have a lot of parents that may have moved locations. Phone numbers change, addresses change and we've had incidents where we could not contact a guardian because the address was invalid. ACS has an open enrollment policy too, so it helps to keep track of how many students live in and out of the city. Roughly uh, around 700 students are out of district. Since last year, there's been a fee for those living outside city limits, made in an effort to balance what in-city families pay in property taxes. We have a unique situation in that we are on Sand Mountain. We have a lot of, a lot of people that actually work inside uh, the city. Uh, it would be more convenient for parents to be able to bring their students to the city that they work in. It's $800 a year for one student, $650 for two, and $500 for three or more kids. But an upcoming vote will clarify who qualifies to pay those dues. If the board votes to revise the policy, anyone prior to June the 30th of 2021 would be grandfathered in from ever having to pay the enrollment fee. The school board is set to vote on any revisions made in March. Lauren Layton, News 19. And at 6 o'clock, the Albertville City School Board started their regularly scheduled Board of Education meeting. They've allotted time to discuss the revision ahead of next month's vote.